Alright guys, this should be the final video of the uh, solar water heat heater getting rebuilt. Um, I've got the temperature gauges in. Uh, just waiting for the paint to dry. And let's take a walk around. I've got the thermometer in place. Alright, I've got the gauges in place. I don't have them labeled yet, but uh, this one's going to be going to the water outlet. And this one's going to be going to the... Uh, it's going to monitor the uh, actual temperature of the uh, water inside the tank. And that probe monitors, that's going to be monitoring the uh, temperature of the water on the inside of the tank. And see, what I want to know this time is if the temperature coming out of that tank that's coming through that pipe and out of the tank is actually any hotter than what's in the tank. So that, that's why I put that second... Uh, temperature probe there so hopefully sometime today or tomorrow we shall see made the final connections this morning that connect the solar water heater to the house all I got to do now is add water I've completed the connections go into the tank on the inside. Got them going through their own hole now instead of the dryer vent. Um, the valves are kind of in an awkward position, but um, I re reused the ones I had rather than buy new ones. And once it's got already glued together, I just have to work with what I got. So, and it's actually the plumbing's connected in the exact same configuration that it was with the old design. The, the pipes are just going out a different hole now. So, there's the, uh, that's the temperature sensor that monitors the hot water going into the house. And there's where the water, hot water, goes into the house. So, without further ado, because all the connections are made and everything is ready, I'm now going to uh, put water into the tank on the outside and let's go see how it works all right hear that that's the solar water heater filling up getting ready for operation all 40 gallons. And there we go. I'm building up water pressure. And while I'm waiting for the uh, tank to fill up with water, one thing, uh, another thing I want to cover is I had to take uh, center blocks and space them out evenly all the way around underneath to uh, support the weight of this box because one thing about this box, probably just the wood alone weighs over 100 pounds. But then I've got 240 pounds of concrete in the bottom that form the drain and then I've got 40 gallons of water. So there's probably about between five and six, maybe seven hundred pounds just sitting right here. Oh, and uh, the solar water heater has actually only been in operation for maybe about an hour or two, I think, but already this pipe here this is going to be the hot water pipe. It's already hot to the touch. So maybe that's an indication on how well it's going to work. But I don't think the thermal siphoning process has started yet. It normally starts whenever the inside temperature of the tank gets uh, between 130, 140 degrees. Then it starts uh, thermal siphoning. But uh, 
this plug here is still cold to the touch so that means it probably has not started yet so let's continue on all right guys the uh, solar water heater is now complete for the most part there's a few little odds and ends things that I've got to get done but um, once again this video has gotten a little bit long and whatever I've got left to do I'll have to include it in the, uh, the next video but uh, this water heater is fully operational it, uh, as a matter of fact a couple hours ago I got my first uh, not hot shower warm shower out of it but that's not bad considering it was only in operation for a couple hours and it's not in a you know a really sunny day so hopefully that's a sign of uh, what is ca capable of doing so with that being said I'll uh, see y'all later hope you like it thanks for watching